So this is the cinematic. So like, is she... Yeah, that's my friend. Like, she's a good vampire. She's not a bad vampire. She was helping uh, the other person instead of wanting to devour him. He, uh, she, uh, she decides to help him. So like, her enemies are Fruda huh? and beautiful face, by the way. <laughs> Uh, reminds me of Jinx a little bit, the, the, the art, the art style of the cinematic. Holy shit. He is still scared. I mean, yeah, understandable. Why is it a grapefruit getting cut in half? It's like the head or what? <laughs> they literally added the ping, oh my god. <laughs> As a sound effect. Isn't that fun? Bro, you should have. Uh, this guy should be happy. You should be fucking happy, man. You should be happy as fuck right now. <laughs> what? Okay, so she can have friends. Okay, no problem. Let's see the prior abilities. Okay, so Briar's attacks and abilities apply to stack and bleed that heals her for a portion of the damage dealt. Okay, perpetually hungry, she gains increased healing based on her missing health. But lacks innate health when regenera uh, regeneration. She will also heal for any remaining bleed damage when a bleeding enemy dies. Okay, additional notes. Her, ab her abilities are her cost. Passive also applies to minions. Counter is grievous, one is grievous ones. So like, okay, she's a vampire. If she wants to... I don't really understand. So like, her abilities cost health. But if she hits somebody, she heals off of that health. Okay, so Q. Briar leaps into a unit, dealing damage, as well as stunning them and breaking their armor. Okay, so it's it gives them an armor penetration. Briar will stop prioritizing enemy champions if she casts this ability on a minion or monster, doing the effect of blood when they blow W, which are... We're going to see later on what this W does. Additional notes, you can Q to allies. Ability is pawn and click. Okay, so like, if you Q to allies, you break their uh, their armor or what? Or you just leap onto them? I think you just leap onto them. So that, that's the leap on. Okay, so... Pretty simple. Pretty simple, honestly. W, uh, Baron leaps forward and shadows her... Entering a blood frenzy that causes her to recently pursue the nearest is an enemy press the third champion. Lips forward and shadows. Okay, so she gains increased attack speed and moving speed and her attacks deal damage. In an area around her dog. Okay, so AoE. Uh, uh Briar can reactivate this ability while Frenzied to take a chomp out of the target on the next attack, dealing additional da damage based on the missing house, okay? You're expected to max this ability first, okay? That dash range, uh -huh. So that's the attack speeds. Okay, no problem. Mario focuses her mind by removing blood and frenzy, W, okay.
and channeling energy into a powerful screen that damages and slows enemy. Okay, while well, charging, that she takes reduced damage and heals for portion of her max health. Okay, so E is like mastery is W, right? The fully charged screen knocks back additional uh, and sending enemy that hit a wall. Okay, so her E, she screams. So her E is a combination of Science Q, <laughs> Vein E, and Master E's W. Okay, no problem. Certain death. Okay, Barry kicks uh, Monash, marking the first champion hit as her prey. Okay. So she marks a champion. She then belines straight to them, fearing all the surrounding enemies on arrival. Instead of complete. So, like, she ults. She marks the enemy just here. Okay, so Nocturne ult. <laughs> she presses her until one of them dies. Getting the effects of Blood Frenzy as well as additional armor. It's near global. Near global? Reaches from Dragon to Baron? Yeah, so like Nocturne ult, which you <laughs> just I told. This, the ability has a global S effect. What? <laughs> So it is a Nocturne ult, though, like you are glued to your enemy, that's the, that's, that's, that's the champion that, like, you are glued to the enemy until they die, and you can just, um, cancel this glowing by pressing E. Can you, like, cancel it with flash or not? I don't think so. I think you can just cancel it with E, and, and not flash. Holy shit! So like, the thing is that I feel like Riot Games are not inspired enough to make a new thing because like, I I can see multiple abilities that are referring to all the champions inside of this champion, you know what I mean? Like, her scream, her, not E, yeah, her E, her E um, it's a Mastery W, it's a Cyan Q, and a Vein E at the same time. Okay? Her ult is a Nocturne ult. Uh, basically. Her Q, it's a leap. Okay, that's, that's her thing. I guess. Yeah. Why not? Because that's a skin review, right? For a gameplay. Holy shit, man. Like, is she available on PBE? That's the question. 